And uh, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is WWE Toys Reviews, and today we are here hitting your subscription box with another video. Yo, 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 video, yo, yo, yo. Sorry. So today, yo, what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be showing you my three new action figures. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, if you wanna go check out the video I'm gonna post next, of the channel name update. Link is down below. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Also, comment down below. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Necessarily, I don't, I, I don't know. And I really, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know myself. <laughs> Vote down below in the comments. What do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? I think it's like the Panthers and the Broncos, I think. Or, I don't know. I watch wrestling. <laughs> I don't know. Um, tell me down below, who do you think's gonna win? Let's not have an argument, let's be cool here. We're a family, guys. Yeah. So, let's get on with the three new figures. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have the WrestleMania 31 or 32... Um, Undertaker, like, I mean, I know this is from WrestleMania 31, this attire, but I do not know, like, if it's WrestleMania 31 or 32 for, like, what it's said on the box and stuff, but this is a, it's not really a series, it's kind of just two elites where it has this Undertaker and the Brock Lesnar, here comes the pain, um, yeah, so, this is the, um, that, it's that one, and it has a plain old hat, and it's kind of loose for mine, see? Loose. But this is um this is an amazing figure for like something like what I just did where he holds the hat. Pretty sick. Um, th it's pretty cool if you have the entrance as well f to use this. Um, yeah. So then it's actually a leather um coat. Pretty sick, just like the defining moment sting, and a little bit of like triangular shapes right here. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. Um, and then there's really just no detail at all. But, yeah. So now let's get on with the actual figure without all the tingies on it. So, this is the Undertaker figure without all the accessories. Now, I must say, this is actually a really nice figure. Now, head scan for, like, a new um, Undertaker. Like, the new, like, what he has instead of, like, the longish hair, like, the Finding Moments Undertaker over there. Um, I must say, this is a dang good face scan for, like, the first ever, like, figure of the Undertaker new attire. Then he kind of has his black tank, tank top, kind of like Braun Strowman-ish. Has a plain old belt with a silver buckle. New pants. And then he got his shoes. I don't know if this is for all of them, but on mine, I think um, they kind of messed up the tattoo. If you can see a little line roll up there. Let me try to get balance out this figure right now so I can show you. Um, there we go. Okay, so I got a little bit of a little paint mistake or like that. It's necessarily your normal average Undertaker figure. Then it has all these tattoos. Then there's one colored one, which I'll show you. Uh, it's just basic tattoos, honestly. Um, some on the inside as well. I can even open up the hand. There we go. Failing it, Dan. You're failing it. Okay, so then this is the color tattoo I was talking about. Uh, there we go. Looks like a wizard thingy. I have no idea. Yeah, pretty cool. Little blue feather as well. So, now let's get on with the second figure. The next one, you guessed it. Um, basic series 57 or 56, Paige. Now, this is an amazing figure. I only have two problems with it. But, other than that, it's really good. So, um, this is its face. You can barely see the thing on his on her lip the i don't know like the ring on the lip then it has like some of her makeup on her eyes pretty cool then it has uh like a they painted this by the way like you can kind of even see the outline of the bra <laughs> um then it has like a zipper and they just painted that um and then for the belt it's like silver then it goes black because like the straps and then it's regular yeah then on the back, it has, like, the straps. And then on the sides, it has, like, it's it's exactly the um, Elite 34. Yeah, Elite 34 page. It's exactly that, just painted. Just two things are different. So then now, 
what this is one of the different things it has gloves and on the gloves it has her logo it has the logo of Paige. Paige. Um, and yeah, that's new. Okay, now the, the oops. These are the problems I have. No painted nails, like the Elite Thirty Four that had painted nails, and they. This is. I don't think this is a problem. I think this is actually a good thing. They did indeed change the up um, the torso. Uh, above they definitely change it. I have the elite 34 which I'll show you guys right now I even think they kind of no. I think everything else is the same though, but here's the elite 34 Um, it has the divas championship and the nxt women's champion Um, definitely they did change it. These are the painted nails I was talking about which they definitely should add should have added and definitely there's a new torso because if you can see I think the biggest problem was the neck for everybody and it was kind of for me too the neck was a little too fat, um, and the torso is definitely bigger than this torso. Like, if here, let's compare it. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can definitely see they did indeed change that. They definitely changed the um, necks, and you and it's also really obvious. They this one's definitely bigger than this one, the torso ish. Um, so yeah, but other than that, it's actually this the same figure, just painted differently, but yeah, so. I think I don't I think people missed that. I don't know. I think they really missed it. Where the this neck was fatter and this neck's a little lot skinnier. So yeah, okay, now let's get on with the final figure, guys. Oh yeah. Now holy crud guys, I cannot believe I found basic series 57 or 56 thin Balor. Okay, so obviously, if you knew I had Paige, you gotta get the Finn Balor. There was like 50,000 Finn Balors at the Walmart I went to. It's like crazy. The Walmart I went to, it like literally had so many Finn Balors. And indeed, they had a chase figure. They had a chase figure. If you do not want know what a chase figure it is, figure is, um, it's where it's a basic figure that has a bonus belt, which is the World Heavyweight Championship, but it's just like a gold strap. And if you you can check on like um, Twitter and stuff, you can definitely see some chase figures. And um, I saw a chase figure, but the only problem was the person that had the belt. If you wanna know who the person that had the belt was, it was Big Show. Big Show! Dude, I am so upset about that. Now, I could have gotten it, but necessarily, I want, I, I don't like Big Show. Like, really? Are you kidding me? Like, it could have been Daniel Bryan. It could have been Ryback with the chase, fig, um, chase belt. No, it has to be Big Show who has the belt. Like, that's dumb, dude. I'm really mad about that. I really hope I can find a different chase figure with a different person instead of big slow instead of that. Like, I'm really mad about that. Like, I'm not joking. But enough of me talking about the chase figure. Um, So let's get on with the actual review. So this is the Finn Balor first time in the line basic. And they did not put a first time in the line sticker, which is weird. Um, Face scan is amazing. Like, I mean spot on amazing and maybe i'm just saying this because i really do like finn balor like finn balor is one of my favorites um so and i'm really dang excited to get basic um not basic elite 41 finn balor dude i just want to order it like it's just that bad i want it i'm gonna buy every single neville every single um and every single finn balor those are the two i'm gonna buy every single figure of um especially finn balor like the way he does his things. I really hope they make an anti-venom one soon. But yeah. So let's get on. So that's the face. They did sculpt the hair. They made it darker. And then they made it lighter, lighter, and then light. Then has a nice beard. Has a nice mustache. Um, he's pretty ripped. Then he has basic black knee pads. Um, and then his boots are red, of course. And they have like a weird little design on them. I don't know. Is it like scales or like snake scales, dragon scales? I don't know. I don't watch NXT, but I do like NXT. If you do not know, 
I have the NXT skirt right there, which soon I'm going to be putting on this arena. If you want to check it out, I'm gonna, I'm I will be making a video when I put on this, or like after it's done. Um, so the only thing I, I'm kind of disappointed about this figure. Well, let me just um, so I have a little more to review. Basic shoulder pads, nothing on, no detail at all, which kind of sucks. Um, that's one of the problems with the the arm. Now this is also a little weird. Why does I don't know if anyone re realized it, but why does the Finn Balor have two punched hands, like like fist hands, like it doesn't have a microphone hand or like a choke hand, like what Undertaker or like like them. The A has two fists. I don't get it. I don't, I really don't. So this is the problem I have with the figure. Painted arms. I like why. Why why did they paint the arms? I mean, it looks cool, but they should have used the gold dust arm, and there's a reason I, I think they should have used it. Now, let me show you why this is a problem. They painted it. So, you see how there's a little move joint right here? Listen to this. You hear that? Like, it's just that bad. The paint, is. I think it will chip. Definitely, if you play it rough with this figure, it will definitely chip. Like, see, with this one, too. I think there's a little bit of it. Yeah, there's a little bit of chipping right there on my arena. You can kind of see it. Yeah, do you see it? It does indeed chip. Um, so you might want to be a little careful playing with this. Yeah, see? You can definitely hear that. It does indeed a little chip, but it's all right. I mean, you can clean that off. But yeah, that's like my only warning to you guys. Just be a little careful when you play with this. Actually, just be careful playing with your figures in general because you don't want to break it or anything. So now let me get my gold dust and I will compare them of what they should have used without the chipping. Let me show you guys. So this is the gold dust. As you can see, it's a little wrinkly over here, um, like on near the wrist. And again, this is I, I think this is not this is not painted, and it's obvious because it's it has a very smooth feel. And look, no, um. Like, um, at all. Instead, they gave us painted. You can even hear they. It's a rough paint, but then you hear this one. Really smooth paint, and then very like it chips as you can as you saw down here. It does indeed chip, and in that. Um, now let me show you guys. Uh, like, um, this is a custom idea as well. I actually have two custom ideas for this. I don't think I'm necessarily going to be making customs soon. I don't know. Because I'm a little scared. I don't want to ruin anything. Because I really don't trust myself with a knife. Because, I, man, I am clumsy. I'll tell you that. I, I'm really clumsy. So now let me show you something really cool you can do with a Finn Balor basic. So what I did was um, I inside... Like, I put the Elite 36 Bo Dallas t-shirt inside out. If you can look closely, you can see some white, which is the Bo Leave. And I put it on the Finn Balor, which it makes it look even better. I think I actually might leave it like this. I think it's pretty cool. So now the second idea I have is um, where you would get the Elite 32 um, Cody Rhodes or Daniel Ryan. And you can just take off the arms the, the head and the boots and then you just pop them on use some nail polish or some alcohol not the drinking alcohol like, no not that use the alcohol where like you know when you got some cut or something you do that um and then you can just erase the designs and fix it up a little bit it's an easy custom to make now let's get on with the outro guys so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button um, and hit that subscribe button. You'll see more content. And um, subscribe to join the family, definitely, which I just pretty much said. But um, I really hope you learned something new out of this, like the page neck one, the first time in the line was bigger than the um, elite. Not, oh, oh, man. The basic is like a little skinnier, you know, a little flying my own. Um, then I hope you learned how to make a little mini custom, a little, little pe easy peasy custom, I must say so myself, I think it's pretty cool, if you use it, um, either tag me in on Instagram, or, um, tweet me at, on Twitter, because I, if you, if I even see at Batmanglitch, yes, my last name is Batman, um, at Batmanglitch, um, on my Twitter, I like retweet automatically, um, so yeah, 
I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to join the family. And I really do hope I see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.